Well, on behalf of the Edsel and Hanley families, we're so glad you made it out today. It is a beautiful day, a special day, a sacred moment in the lives of Elizabeth and Robert. Robert, 950 days ago, my life was about to change in the most extraordinary way, and I had no idea. I met you, my future life partner and best friend. I've never been one to believe in coincidences, and how we met is no exception. I truly believe God handpicked you to be my husband, knowing you would be exactly everything I needed and more. Through the wonders of FaceTime from Milwaukee to Los Angeles, the one thing that really jumped out at me more than anything about your relationship, as I reflect on it, is your collective resilient commitment to building a home, to building a life wherever God has you. I mean, seriously, we were in the midst of a global pandemic when we first started talking about this. So many unknowns on the radar. But even then, you were all smiles as you dreamt about your future together. You two truly are a breath of fresh air in a world full of masks. And I couldn't be more excited. So those of you that know me know I don't call either of my girls by their given names, but their middle names. So in Elizabeth's case, that means I've always called her Grace or Gracie. A little bit of knowledge for those of us who are the nerds. What does Grace mean? It's really related to goodness and generosity. Elizabeth is a beautiful spirit, smart, funny, competitive, and extremely driven. But one of her greatest traits is her tremendous heart for others. All that and more are why I call her my amazing Grace. One thing that's special about uh, just growing up with him is you can see how he grows as a person, matures, and just how he's become a better person over the years. And uh, I like to say he's half my size, but he's twice the person I am. He's one of the best people I've ever met. I told him a month, two months ago like how happy I was that he found the person that is the perfect person for him for us. Elizabeth, if I had to summarize what you are, to me it would be this. A steady shoulder, inside joke lock box, truth speaker, quirk advocate, loyalty expert, heart bandager, go-to person for the worst of the worst, and the best of the best. After watching you for the last 23 years, I have learned endless generosity, pure selflessness, attentiveness to the overlooked, childlike wonder and complete giddiness, absurd weirdness, unfiltered kindness, rock solid faith and a softness towards life. You carry a light with you everywhere you go and a whole lot of energy. Your spunk and random dance moves have always been unmatched, or at least they were until you met Rob. <laughs> the memories of you meeting Rob are a bit of a blur simply because he became a part of the family so quickly. It was like God had created a space for him before we knew it and you entered and fit in so seamlessly, Rob. Liz, I promise to love and care for you. Liz, I promise to love and care for you. I will always be honest with you. I will always be honest with you. I will walk with you. I will walk with you. Wherever our journey leads. Wherever our journey leads. Living, loving, and learning together. Living, loving, and learning together. Forever. Forever. All right, Liz, repeat after me. Robert, I promise to love and care for you. Robert, I promise to love and care for you. I will always be honest with you. I will always be honest with you. I will walk with you. I will walk with you wherever our journey leads us. Wherever our journey leads us. Living, loving, learning together. Living, loving, and learning together. For us. I now declare you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Robert, you may kiss your bride.
to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Robert Hanley. Come on!